سأترك يا رب ذنبا مضى وأقبال نحو الرضا والنعيم أحبك ربي وهذا رجاي بأنك تقبلني يا كريم بأنك تقبلني يا كريم. We find ourselves in a situation where we are surrounded by something which cannot be seen by our naked eye. We are surrounded by a virus which has disrupted everything around the world. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, وَإِنْ يَمْسَسْكَ اللَّهُ بِدُرٍ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ إِلَّا هُ then, and, it, and if it were to be that Allah touches human being with some adversity, there is no one to remove it except by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us signs of His greatness. Allah says, سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will show them the signs in the horizons and in themselves. And subhanallah, it can happen that sometimes we look at this situation and we find it to be difficult. Difficult to comprehend, difficult to understand. But what happens? Allah tells in the Quran, وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ That it may be that there are certain things that you don't like, you dislike, but they are good for you. وَعَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ And there will be things that you like, but they are not good for you. وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Allah knows better and you don't know. So subhanAllah, in every situation, we go back to Allah. And it has happened that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought this kind of difficulty on nations before us. Allah tells us in the Quran that, O oh Muhammad, we sent messengers before you. We sent messengers before you. Then, فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْبَأْسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ And then we tried them, tested them with poverty and hardship and so forth. Why did Allah test them? with these kind of trials لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَضَرَّعُونَ so that they can beseech Allah plead to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in humbleness and return back to Allah and that is what we have to do we look at the situation of Adam alayhi salam when he made dua رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Wallah we have wronged ourselves and if you were not to forgive us then we will be from the wrongdoers we look at the case of Musa السلام, making dua for himself and his brother. Rabbi ghfirli wa li akhi, oh Allah forgive me and my brother. We look at the case of Nuh السلام, making dua for himself and his parents. Rabbi ghfirli wa li walidayya, oh Allah forgive me and my parents. We look at the case of Yunus السلام, making dua. La ilaha illa anta subhanak, inni kuntu min al-zalimin. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And all praises for you, verily we are from the wrongdoers. So we have to make sure that we return back to Allah. Ask Allah for forgiveness, ask Allah for help. And we have to take care of all of the pre precautions, inshallah. That goes without saying. But let us also recognize the fact that it is Allah who will take us out of any and this difficulty. SubhanAllah, we've had a very, very good time. And these are times when we have to return back to Allah. Recognize that there can be a possibility that there have been some shortcomings in my relationship with Allah. And as a human being, I need to fix that. I need to amend that. And subhanAllah, by following what Allah tells us, by following what Prophet ﷺ did, by following the sunnah, Allah will bring us from the leaders of this ummah. SubhanAllah. We are followers of what Allah tells us. We are followers of what Prophet ﷺ has done and by implementing each and every sunnah we will be but we will become the leaders of this ummah and we want to be those so that we can help people and guide people in the best possible manner remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates a situation in order for us to come close to him so let us be positive allah has created this virus and if anyone were to pass away with this and they are taking all the precautions, then they will be raised from the martyrs. SubhanAllah. Allah is giving them that status through this virus. SubhanAllah, they had, may not have had the ability, opportunity to go out and 
and, and take part. But Allah is giving them that honor. And that is how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. He brings about a situation that we cannot comprehend or understand. But He raises our rank. And that is the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us remember Allah. Let us take make tawbah to Allah. Let us thank Allah for what Allah has given us. And let us make sure that we capitalize and utilize this opportunity of coming close to Him. Wa jazakum Allah.